Hey guys, today I have another EV charger review for you. We're going to be looking at the Wolfbox EV charger and we're going to test out its charging with my Kia EV6. Now, a lot of you may know Wolfbox from their dash cams, but they also have EV chargers. The one we're looking at today is their WE40 EV charger, which is a 40 amp plug-in style EV charger. Comes with a nice long 25 foot charging cable and it has a lot of features built in like app controls using your smartphone where you can adjust the charge current, set up how it charges, like when you automatically charge when you plug in or with an RFID card. You can schedule charging for off-peak hours and you can see real-time charging insights and access your historical charging data, so that kind of thing. It's also got a lot of safety precautions built in too. It is CSA certified, which is basically like being UL listed, but for Canada, and it does meet the UL 2594 safety standards. It also has various electrical and temperature protections built in, which is always good to see. And it comes with a NEMA 4 and IP66 rating for being water and dust proof, so it can be installed indoors or outdoors. And they back it with a three-year warranty, and they actually have support that you can talk to online or you can call, unlike a lot of cheap EV chargers out there. Taking it out of the packaging, we have the mounting hardware included, which is good. We have support information, a manual, and of course the device itself. I do like the overall look and feel of it. We do have visual status indicators, which I do like. And there's some more specifications on the back here. You can see we have the NEMA 1450 plug, which is a molded design and it looks good. And we have a decently long input cable that has eight gauge wiring, which is pretty typical. Looking at the cable to the connector, that has 9 gauge wiring, which again is pretty standard for 40 amps. Looking at the J1772 connector, it looks fine. It's just molded plastic. It's not the highest quality or going to be the most durable, but it's not horrible. The latch works fine, but it does bend a little bit. The contacts inside look good. So yeah, like I said, the connector is fine. Now let's go ahead and get it set up. All right, it's all mounted here. And like I said, I do like the overall design. I like the integrated holster for the J1772 connector. And the cable management works well, wrapping it around the charger. Now we'll go ahead and plug it in and test it out. Nice solid connection there. And it is charging now. Looking inside the car, we're at 9.3 kilowatts, which is around what I'd expect to see at 40 amps. And the car is seeing 40 amps from the charger, so that's good. So yeah, we'll let it charge for a while and see how it does. We'll see if the charge port temperatures rise much. I know some older EV6s had issues with overheating charge ports, so we'll see if this gets close to uh, above 200 degrees, which is where we start to see it throttle charging speeds. But yeah, it's charging good. Let's go ahead and check the external temperatures as well. It looks like it's in the high 60 degree Fahrenheit range right now. Just over 70 degrees. So yeah, we'll monitor those temperatures and we'll see how they change. While it charges, I'll pull up the app here. It's available in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. It's very easy to connect to the charger itself after you set up your account. You can set up plug and charge functionality. You can put your vehicle information in, set up a charging schedule like I mentioned to take advantage of time of use rates. It's also got a nice feature called automatic restart, where if the power goes out for any reason and the vehicle is charging, it will automatically resume charging once the power is restored. 
it's definitely a nice feature to have that not all other EV chargers have. And yeah, it's pretty comprehensive. All right, it's been charging for a couple hours now. Checking inside the car, we're still showing 9.3 kilowatts and everything is looking good. The charge port AC and that temperature is only 138 degrees, so that's really good. And yeah, no issues at all here. Checking the external temperatures. It looks to be in the 90 degree range, which is good. It's barely warm, not even close to overheating. So yeah, it's working great. Checking out the app, it shows we're still over nine kilowatts here too. And everything is holding steady and it's showing only a hundred degrees inside the unit itself. So that's good. So yeah, I'm very happy with its performance. As for pricing, it's $430, which is competitive considering what you get. A nice smart EV charger with a lot of functionality and features, a long 25 foot cable, various safety protections and a safety certification and a three year warranty. But let me know what you guys think and let me know if you have any questions about the EV charger. And if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.